When my father started this blacksmith shop in 1944, he didn't know that his future would be all about pumps. Paul was driven by a huge curiosity of what is possible. And that has transpired throughout the entire history of Grundfos, where we're saying, what could be possible? My father, Paul Lud Jensen, the founder of Grundfos, he grew up under very poor circumstances. And this meant that my father became a very independent young man didn't sit there waiting for, for somebody else to come and help him. He was not a pump maker, but he was talking to farmers who was looking for something that could help them pump water out. And he invented the pump from scratch. It looked exactly like a big fat pig. And that's why the first Grundfos pump that had the name Foss got a nickname, the pig. So what essentially started as one pump today has led into a company that make it a genuine and real difference on two of the world's biggest problems, namely the energy efficiency and water agenda. My father was basically a fanatic technician, but he was also good with customers. They overnighted here in this house, and, and they had then during the evening a good discussion, and then end up with the uh, negotiations and money talk at the end of, of the day. The best way to learn about and get inspired for the future is to interact with the people who actually use your solutions. And Paul knew that. He always was very, very close, you know, to reality. In our guest house in Friesholt, we essentially try to make that as much as a home as possible. You are in the company. That closeness, that eye-to-eye -eye contact and face-to-face -face meet is uh, something that I, in particular, and I know also my group management members and others in Grundfos, we gain a lot from. We don't just try to sell to them, we actually try to help them solve their problems. We have own sales operations in, uh, in, in, in more than 55 countries and that essentially means that a global customer can always rely on us to be there with Grundfos people who think and act as Grundfos. He was able to develop some very, very strong products. It was uh, centrifugal pumps, it was the submersible pumps, the circulating pumps. Those groundbreaking innovations in our industry have truly set the standard and inspired many people beyond just what has been possible in his time. Innovation is about being the leaders in the pump technology. That is about exactly setting the, uh, the new trends. I think Gornfoss today is as insistent on driving new technologies and groundbreaking solutions as we've ever been. We have people who have worked here, many of them, for decades who has such a deep, deep experience in their field of expertise. Some of the new technologies are the ones that will actually combine the different components or the different pumps throughout a greater part of the system. So instead of thinking about the individual pump, how about a floor heating system? How about an entire industrial feed system? Those types of, of things where we go beyond just the pump, enabled in many cases by digitalization, is what I can see in the future will make an even greater difference. Being in the market with the most innovative products, that has been some very important DNA or grunt for us, right back to the founder. My father died only 65 years old. Well, you can say that Nils was thrown into deep water at, at a very early age of a, a sad reason, namely that his father died too early. But he immediately started uh, his own way and yet picking up on the heritage and the vision of his father. 
As a leader, you will have to lead the way. One of these big decisions were to take Grundfos into the electronic age, so to say, in, in the 90s. Nils took a very courageous choice in saying, I have this, this strong belief that electronics will, will lift us into a new league. Had we not taken that uh, risky journey uh, moving into electronics, I think we would have been a company uh, in, a, in a much smaller size than we are today. We will never become another uh, Me Too player and do what everybody else is doing really well. That is not the business and that is not who we are in, in Grundfos. We want to create a difference. And uh, that is not only to ourselves, but certainly also to the, uh, to the environment. Technical innovations should really be for the good of our world population. More than 10% of the world's total electricity consumption is electrical pumps. And even with today's technology, that can be reduced to approximately half if it was replaced with the latest technology standard from Grundfos. At the same time, more than half a billion people are severely water starved today. And if you have, like Grundfos, a realistic opportunity to make clean water available to people in the world, you have an obligation to do so. That is the foundation. That, that is what we stand on today and from, from the ambition uh, from, from my grandfather and, and, and father. The journey is not over yet. You know, we, we have to continue in, in Grundfos uh, this journey of excellence and journey of, of, of being able to create things for Grundfos and for mankind which we can be proud of. So we see ourselves as duty-bound to be the ones who invent the future of the business we're in.